Dr. Emmanuel Navon, and I want to ask you about Europe because I think that's the question of the hour in this respect. The refugee crisis, right? The refugee crisis not going away. How should Europe deal with it in respect of what has just happened over the weekend? Well, first of all, they've been taken by surprise when the refugees arrived from uh, from Syria, as we know. Uh, Turkey, which is also surprising that they were taken by surprise, but that's just me. Yes. Well, the the civil war in Syria has been going on for uh, for two years, and they looked the other way. Exactly. <clears throat> as opposed to what they did in Libya, by the way, where they had interest with the mm -hmm. oil from uh, Gaddafi. And but then that's it's okay to bomb and move. Exactly. Away. Yeah. For humanitarian reasons. Exactly. But then, of course, what happened also is that the president of uh, Turkey let all these uh, refugees or migrants move to Europe. And the truth of the matter is that it worked for him because about a month ago, the German Chancellor Angela Merkel flew to Ankara asking him to stop the flood of immigrants. So obviously now he has this leverage over Europe when for the past two decades, basically Turkey has been begging the EU to join this club and now the European leaders are begging him to stop the migration. And by the way, the G20 summit is being hosted by him. So now he's, he put himself in this position of force thanks to his very ambiguous policy towards the refugees and the immigrants. Towards the refugees and the um, and the immigrants who are still, you know, who will keep also flowing into Europe. That we know. I mean, because the, the as you mentioned, the Syrian war, which at this point has been going on for four and a half years, is not stopping.